Female genital mutilation is one practice. Female genital mutilation is one practice you know, just in various parts of this country, different counties, with prevalence being in places such as Kisi, Embu, Meru, Taita, Taveta, and even Korea. Tuataka kuheshimu milazetu. Lakini ndiyo tuweze kuheshimu milazetu. Lazima pia tukae na tuseme zile mila ambazo za umiza watoto wetu tuachane nazo lakini zile mila ambazo ni za manufaa kwa watoto wetu tuendelee nazo the government has also made various strides with the notion of wanting to stop this practice by 2022 when you instructed us with the shebesh that the target of 2022 to have zero cases of fgm is your plan and we are trying to execute it, but Your Excellency, you know this cannot be done alone. First, let me thank the elders, because when they signed the declaration in the State House about two years ago, that was one of the new things that we, as an intervention, because fighting FGM requires several interventions. One of the interventions is where we brought in elders because they are the decision makers. In this documentary, we learn about... Ni disama nataka kukeketwa. Alishika hiyo maneno kutoka kwa nyanya yake, akaja naye kutuambia ati eh, yeye nataka. Tulienda tukakeketa mchichana mmoja, haka mblindi. We sensitize them about the dangers of FGM. And now, I'm in Tarakanithi County to find out if the government interventions are bearing fruits. I got an appointment with Fides Kithinji, a reformed ex cutter who practiced FGM for decades. She underwent the cut. Wakati nijitahidiwa nitaiwe nikiwa mkubwa sababu si hakuna company. Una unajua unajua hii ni kampuni yako sasa. Sasa unaona wewe ukiacha huyu akitahidiwa na huyu atahidiwe na huyu mwingine wewe huwezi waachwa peke yako. Sasa una unakosa company. Unajua company. Sasa hiyo ndio inaniwe sasa nitahidiwe sababu hakuna mtu kunakaa na yeye. Nitakuwa peke yangu. According to Fides, it was more of a ceremony than an event. Sasa wakati huu ni wakati wa ule mtani ile mwenye kutahii anavaa hivi. Hata ukimwona na njia unajua yeye ni mwenye kutahii. Hata mwenye kutahiliwa kiliona anajua ndio ule mtani. Anaitwa mtani. Sasa tamani mwenye kutahii alikuwa anaenda akiwa anaimbiwa. Anaimbiwa anaimba anaimba anaimba. Sasa kienda pale ataingia pole pole na msisana naye hapa hapa ndio mwenye kutahiliwa atatokea na hii mlango amalisio mambo yake na mimi nitakuwa pale nje sasa hii ni hii inaitwa kovia mtani na hii ni mkio ya mtani hii muti inaitwa lamara yani ile ile pimbo ya mtani Uki, ukienda kusukua mtani kama mtu anikujia hapa kama tu, kuna tumano kama vile vijana kijana kama ule anakuja ananiambia tunataka uende ukatailie kwetu eh sasa leta ile pesa unakuja naye eh, ili niweze kutoka niasie kiniasie ni mmoja sasa nitampea hii ona ataenda naye akijua ah mtani akienda atapelekea ule mwenye kutailiwa mwambie ukiona hii Ujua kuna utabandilika hata ukikataa tunakuzika kwa nguvu kwa nguvu Poverty made Fidesz to become a cutter Sasa nikaona sasa wasa nione kama nikitahidi nitasapata pesa Eh sasa nikaanja hapo umuhimu nikapuatilia wale walikuwa na barua wajua huku kutahidi chamani ilikuwa ukienda kutahidi na unaenda unapea chibu pesa una unakupatia baroa unaenda kutahiri na sasa ukiwa unapata ile baroa utaenda hivyo utakuwa ukienda bila amuke asubuhi saa 12 ukiwa umetahiri 
For one to qualify as a cutter, one had to cut at least 10 young ladies. Later on on the day, I received a call from Sarah Karimi from Kirimangare village Kanjuki sublocation. She is one of the few women who voluntarily went for the cut. So, kama ujakeketwa, hauna kampani. Mtu anakaa kwa how long, yabudu kwa sawa kabisa. Ule mbaka reza toka ya ndo inji, atambea ndo na shibuli zake kutawaida. Utakaa mwezi. Mwezi mwezi. Na hiyo mwezi beketi kwa nyumba, ni mambo gani ya mba unafanyiwa? Kama hile kukuapreshi. Kwa umetoka from one stage to another stage. Wana kiutamanduni, kuna mambo mingi walikuwa nafanya. Utaletua watu wata kwa kuchape. Ukona kindonda na utachapwa. Utambua kama ni mambo ya kueshimu mama mwenye mekua sapota wako. Utambua mambo ya kama unapita njiani kutane na wazazi wako. Unapaa wewe unaingia kwa kichaka, wanapita. Upusi mwingi. Peer pressure also pushed her to go for the cut. Wakati ni kondrasani, nilikuwa na stress. Sababu naona wenzangu wa meenda kuolewa. Kama rafiki yangu na kumbuka kuna moja liolewa tu vile. Bile sasa tulirundi mashuleni. Ya kakua tayari ya likuwa na boyfriend lakini sasa. Bile hamepita hiyo section sasa. Hamekua sawa. So wakakua meolewa kona mtoto. Bando mimi yata sijamalisa class 8. Bando naendelea na masomo. So nilikuwa naona ni stress kubwa. Simon Jagi Nkathu is a community leader in Kirimangare village. Wana jaribu ku... Yani kuendelea, kuendelea ama kuendesa hile nini utamanduni wao. Iyo kasi mimi sita ifanya. Mana niliona... Aina, aina, aina kitu ama haina faida yote kwangu. Na kama mtu akija kwangu kuniambia ati nataka, nataka, ni, nataka barua, niende, uende unisukulia barua kwa chief ama kwa assistant chief, ili nipate na fasi ya, kuni, ya, ya kukiketa mtisana wangu. Iyo kitu mimi nakata na tena, Iyo kama kiendelea na iyo kazi na nikipata ate ame, ujo msisana amekiketwa. Imi napika ripoti kwa authority, arafu majukumu na shukuliwa na serikari. Kusemu kweli mi sioni kama kuna kitu ambayo kinaendelea, e, kiko samuimu sana kwa kukiketa msisana, mbali ni asaratupu. A few meters away, I met Grace Josford, a reformed ex-cutter who practiced FGM for over 10 years. Tu... Kuanzia 1979, tukaenda, tukaenda, mpaka hata minya kanipundisa kukeketa. Haki tengenezewa pombe, haki kunywa, haka lewa, hananiambia, sasa nilikupundisa saini weu utapanya hii kasi. Tulienda tukakeketa mchishana mmoja, haka mblindi kwa ndamu kwa wini. Nikaangalia, nikaona, he. Na hii ni maneno ya kufungwa. Una, una, nikafikiria, nikaanza kutetemika. Nikaona, hii maneno hii. Serekali kijua, tutapungwa. Nini nikaolewa. Nikaolewa na pasta. Nikiolewa na pasta, kaniambia sasa hii maneno, sita kubaliana na hii maneno. Hata nikiwa mi na keketa, nilikuwa naona ni maneno siyo mzuri 
Government interventions to stop FGM has attracted support from non-governmental organizations. We met Faith, Regional Director, Plan International, based in Tharakanithi County. A lot of progress has been achieved towards eradication of the practice with um, a lot of emphasis on uh, working with locals, mainly the role models, women and men that are in support of ending the practice, women that have progressed well in their career and have not gone through FGM, and others that have gone through FGM are career women but are against the practice and have been able to stop the practice in their own families. So those are the people that we've been working with. There are a lot of awareness campaigns that have been held at the community level. A lot of uh, government structures have also been supported, especially strengthening the court users' committees, working with the area advisory councils, training the police officers, mainly to ensure that they understand the need for issues of child protection, because FGM falls under violation of children's rights as well as a form of gender-based violence. So as much as there is that much that the organization has done in reducing the practice from 58% uh, in uh, 2014 to 48% as at last year, a lot more needs to be done now that um, comparing the, the prevalence in the Rakanidhi County and the national prevalence of 21%, we are way above the national average with around 27%. A lot more needs to be done in um, eradicating the practice which is quite deep -rooted. And um, as much as the government is committed to ending the practice in 2022, there is quite some good trial in terms of uh, the government agencies supporting the presidential directive but there is a lot more that needs to be done by everyone to ensure that the practice is eradicated in 2022. Some children were actually rescued by Plan International, mm. them that were to undergo the cut, and then they picked them. Those are the girls that they, they, they hold seminars for, they sensitize, we sensitize them about the dangers of FGM as a woman, as a girl, and even to the education sector, uh, it's, it's dangerous to them. We've, we've held so many seminars and we've taught. We've taught well about it. And for sure, a, a large percentage is now in schools as a result of those uh, seminars. If you compare FGM prevalence, especially across the county, areas where the literacy levels are very high, people have gone to school, people are in charge, people are not poor, the FGM levels are very low. But where the poverty levels are high, there are high levels of illiteracy, then FGM is high. So if we fight poverty, then it will definitely address issues of FGM because parents will have, you know, they will be financially stable. They can be able to take their children through schools. There is that level of exposure that comes up with the improved level standards of living. There is that interaction with the outside world that brings in the natural transformation from embracing the cultural practices that are retrogressive to encouraging education, you know, to encouraging support of education and ends eradication of FGM in an area. My visit to Rakanithi County left me with hope. A hope that come 2022, FGM prevalence will be zero. I hope that girls will be given equal opportunity in the society. I will visit Tharaka again.